Oscar Wilde once said that fashion is merely a form of ugliness so absolutely unbearable that we have to alter it every six months. And he's not wrong. In today's video, we are going to review some of the weirdest fashion trends that have ever hit the market, starting in Elizabethan times all the way to basically yesterday. Hey guys, it's Rachel Fisher, and today we review our top 10 list of weirdest fashion trends in history that just shouldn't exist. <laughs> Number 10, black teeth trend. Today we have runway fashion shows that tell us what's going to be in fashion this or that season. Hundreds of years ago, we relied almost entirely on the nobles to tell us what to do. Usually if a royal had a weird thing, that became the most fashionable thing to do or wear, even if it wasn't a good thing. Today we are gonna talk about the trend started by Queen Bess's sweet tooth. Elizabeth I apparently had a pretty strong desire for sugar here and there. Honestly, who doesn't? But due to the fact that, I don't know, dental health was practically non-existent, her teeth didn't fare so well. Eventually her teeth took on a black color from neglect and sugar, which sparked an albeit short-lived fashion trend. Pale skin and full bellies implied that one was quite rich because the wealthy didn't have to work in the fields, so they were pale, and had copious amounts of food anyway. So women blackened their teeth on purpose so that they would appear rich enough to afford sugar. This was attractive, perhaps not aesthetically, but financially, for any suitors looking for a juicy dowry. It was trends like this that built the reputation that Brits have bad teeth. So really, it shouldn't have happened. Number nine, the hobble skirt. This could just be me, but if I can't function at the most basic level while wearing the clothes that I buy, I consider that a fail. The hobble skirt is one such skirt that would fall in this category. Yes, it is exactly as it sounds. Keep in mind that hobbling is a term used to describe tying an animal's back legs together, so that should give you a good picture of what I'm about to talk about. It was specifically designed to slow women down so they couldn't take bigger steps. It was designed by a French designer named Paul Poirot for going the corset, but as Poirot wrote, I may have freed the bust, but I shackled the legs. So he took one thing that was constricting and then put it around her legs. Good job, dude. Number eight, platform croc shoes. <laughs> I'm bouncing all over the place here. Surprise, keeping you on your toes. But I'm guessing as soon as I said croc, a bunch of you either hid your feet or started clapping. But the joke's on us, guys. In 2019, crocs were 13th most popular shoe for teenage girls globally. They may be polarizing to some, but to others, they are a unique choice to pair with, I don't know, jeans or leggings or whatever. I will admit, as someone who enjoys some outdoor adventures, it's a great shoe to have floating down a river because they float and then you have like shoes to come out and take them go for a walk in so it's it's practical in that sense but as a fashion statement in everyday life good, goal, good god no like don't do that leave them at home but now we've got something even worse croc platform shoes comfy heels you can wear to your next wedding event how far are we gonna take this guys seriously number seven crinolines you have to dream to burn through the field after your forbidden lover in a massive glorious ball gown. Make sure it doesn't have any crinolines. Crinolines were big hoop skirts worn under frocks in the 19th century, and they made a woman's hips look like they went on for days. These hips certainly lied. The hoops were made out of horsehair, wood, and even sometimes steel so that they'd keep their shape. But the problem was women had to be very very cautious around anything that could catch on them, including gusts of strong wind. That's right, imagine an umbrella on a very windy day, inverting itself and dragging you along with it. But not just wind, there are stories from the FIDM Museum and galleries of women being tossed off cliffs or getting caught on the spokes of carriage wheels. Talk about the phrase, looks could kill. But even worse, in 1863 Santiago, Chile, a massive church fire caused by a gas lamp killed thousands of people, mostly women. Why? Because their crinolines got stuck in the door. So I don't know, maybe switch out the dress in that fantasy for a pair of jeans or a boho skirt, you know, just in case. Number six, ultra high-waisted pants. If you're like me, you aren't ready for the high-waisted pants to die. I love them. I hated hip hugger jeans. It always fell down and I was constantly tugging them up. I don't know, maybe I should just put those on the list. Meh. Okay, you know what? Honorary mention, hip hugger jean. But guys, have you seen the top belt jumpsuit designed by Victor and Rolf? Now I like jumpsuits, they're great, but this is essentially a large pair of pants. The ultimate high-waisted pants, if you will. The ensemble walked down Victor and Rolf's fall winter 2021 show and was initially covered with a jacket. 
It must have looked très chic because people were on board with that. People were on board with the look. That was until it was retailed and they found out it was just pants with a belt around their boobs. It was like paper bag action happening. Someone dragged down the tallest man on earth. I think he wants his pants back. Here's a picture. Number five, unusable nail art. Okay. This next one is kind of a pet peeve of mine, so I put it on the list, so shoot me. I'm not gonna lie. I love long nails. I think they look really cool, but I'm talking about the ones that people put things in or attach things to. Like, I swear, people forget that they need to use their hands to do things. Or maybe they don't. Maybe they're so rich that they just have other people to do things for them. You know what I mean? Like, like look at this picture, okay? Why do you need your fingers to look like dead fish? Or people are putting live animals in like goldfish, or um, I think I saw one with like live ants. Just need to stop, okay? I'm having nightmares about this. So like, like why do you need fur on your nails? I just don't understand. Anyways, guys, what do you think? Let us know. <laughs> Number four, face skinny. Are you sick and tired of having to put sun lotion on your face? Do you just want protecting your face from the sun to be simple? Well, don't worry. We have the solution for you. Face skinnies. Yes. They are a real thing, and yes, they are terrifying. There are so many choices. They have every kind of color you'd want. Everything from plain black to camel, red paisleys, and guitar with skulls. Though it may seem like a strange alternative to SPF, the website, yes, there's a website, boasts 100% sun protection and protection from jellyfish and algae. They've really caught on in China, and it's only a matter of time before we don't use them here because we are sick of wearing masks, or at least I am. Okay. I'm already just imagining, like not sharks, but someone emerging from the water looking like a robber ready to steal my floaties. No! Number three, butt zipper jeans. Have <laughs> you ever wished jeans had a zipper in the back for your butt? Neither have I. But trust me when I say, they exist and people wear them. Look, some people are just suckers for convenience and to them, this could have been the best thing since onesies had butt flaps in old Western movies. Since jeans became a staple, designers have been itching to find a way to reinvent the classic. Add some spice, if you will. In 2017, Reformation came out with their answer to this problem. Jeans that unzip all the way from the front to the back. The description read, being naked is the number one most sustainable option. We're number two. And they aren't the only ones who came out with this idea. Just Google butt zipper jeans and they will come out with an array of styles. But here's the thing, friends. We know, we know the answer as to how to make jeans better, especially for women, okay? Get ready. All you need to do is add actual pockets. There, solved, moving on. Someone make that a trend so it can catch on. I'm tired of having nowhere to put my phone. Or buying jeans and you put your hand, you thought it was a pocket, but it's not. It's heartbreaking. Number two, Carmat skirt by Balenciaga. Fashion shows are known to have fantastical ideas throughout the runway to serve as inspiration for upcoming fall and spring trends. But have you ever thought while driving your car, I don't know, that, oh man, hey, that, that car mat? That would look amazing as a skirt. Well, Balenciaga did, guys. Guys, I don't know what it was about 2017, but when Balenciaga launched their fall line that year during Paris Fashion Week, the car mat was a choice they made. That year, Balenciaga took their inspiration, it appears, from very weird, random lowbrow items and decided to slap fashion on it. They actually called the skirt the car design skirt, and it was on the website at the reasonable, affordable price of $2,495. So if you wanted a very expensive designer car mat, well, here it is. Number one, garbage dress. <laughs> I feel like it's the thing that the ultra rich do now where they're so rich, they have to pretend they're poor, you know? But buying the expensive fashion version of stuff you just find on the street. So instead of buying fancy new clothes, buy things like the garbage dress. Again, 2017 guys, that was a bad year for fashion trends. Moschino during Paris Fashion Week debuted a collection of items made of pieces of garbage. And I think that was the theme that year. Okay, so I, I'll give them that. But what they really did <laughs> was they used a bag from the dry cleaners and put it over a black slip. Oh, and they made a sock purse to go with it. It even has a sign on it that says, we love our customers. What, what, what trend were they trying to inspire? Like, should we keep the bags from all of our dry cleaning? Like, I don't, I don't understand. Like, it would've been really cool if the dress underneath was, I don't know, something chic, but it wasn't, it was just a black slip. I just don't understand. I just don't get it. Anyways, I feel like this list was like part historical fact, part pet peeves by Rachel. 
I know, I know guys. Honestly, I'm, I, I'm, I'm a jeans and t-shirt girl myself, so I'm probably not the best person to report on fashion, probably the last person who should, but perhaps we really should second guess the trends that show up on our feed, because as we've seen in today's list, some of them can be dangerous either for ourselves or just for our eyes. And if you like this video and wanna see more like it, if you wanna see me just report on ridiculous fashion trends, knowing nothing about fashion like this smash the like button and make me do it because i'll have fun most likely i had fun doing this one um and comment what do you think we should talk about because i think that's great i personally would love to know what 90s trends or what fashion trends from your childhood that you never want to see again let me know in the comments i've been your host rachel fisher and until next time take care but make it fashion